Hey class, I just wanted to read the book that we are reading this week together with you. So together we are reading Brad Needs a Budget this week. And you have been doing activities um, and assignments that go along with this book. Um, but since it's Friday, I wanted to read this book to you. So we're going to read Brad Needs a Budget together. Okay? So it says, Money Trouble. Every week, Brad's parents gave him an allowance. They didn't give him the money as a gift, though. Brad actually earned it. Each day, Brad took out the trash and cleared the table after dinner. He fed the family dog and took him for walks. For all of this work, Brad earned $12 a week. Have you been working at home with your parents? The next page says, The problem was, the money Brad earned seemed to disappear just as quickly as he earned it. His dad said that money seemed to burn a hole in his pocket. Uh-oh. Brad spent his money on video games more than anything else. Sometimes he wanted to go to the movies with a friend or buy a candy bar. He never seemed to have enough money, though. Time for a budget. Brad begged his parents for a raise, but he didn't get one. Brad's dad said he would only get a raise if he did more work. Brad didn't want to do more work, so he had to get by on $12 a week. If you don't want to work more, then I think you should create a budget, said Brad's dad. What's a budget? asked Brad. Brad's dad explained that a budget was a plan to set aside money each week for certain expenses. You spend only as much as your budget allows for each type of expense. That way, you are sure to have money for different things you want, explained his dad. Sounds like a good idea, said Brad. Will you help me make one? Making a budget. That night, Brad sat down at the kitchen table with his parents. They made a list of different types of things Brad wanted to be able to buy. The list included categories such as snacks, entertainment, and clothing. Brad's parents explained that a budget should always set aside a percentage of earnings as savings. They told Brad that by saving a little money each week, he could save a lot over time. Then he would be able to buy something expensive in the future. It can, be, it can also be your rainy day fund, said his mom. Brad gave him a puzzled look. A rainy day fund is there to help out if in an emergency, she explained. It's like an umbrella that keeps you from getting soaked if it rains. They also said it was important to set aside a little money to help others. They even offered to raise his allowance by $3 a week if he would put aside $2 for charity. Brad quickly accepted their generous offer. Spending within a budget. From that day on, Brad always seemed to have enough money to do the things he wanted. Money no longer burned a hole in his pocket. At the end of each year, he sat down with his parents. They helped him choose which charity would get the $104 he had set aside. The first year, he chose to give the money that the ta to the town's animal shelter. Giving money to help those in need made Brad feel good. He also used some of his savings to buy a cool new video game console. That made him feel good too. So this is Brad Needs a Budget. 
And in this book, we learn the importance of saving money and keeping a budget. Okay, so there's words at the end of the book that explains what all these words are. So I hope you were able to read that and learn some more words this week. And I hope you enjoyed reading Brad Needs a Budget. I miss you guys very much and I hope you continue to learn and I hope you have a great week off next week. Next week is spring break. Woo! All right. So I love you guys. I miss you very much. Okay. Have a great spring break. Bye.